So on today's video we're going to show you a little trick with MIG welding and it's going to involve a series of U shapes. So if you imagine in your mind the letter U and then crossing over, as you can see from this puddle now, that's essentially what we're putting onto this lap joint. So we're actually going to do two runs here, one we're going to pull and one we're going to push. And there is slight variations in both. Okay, There's been a lot of argument about penetration with pulling and people saying when you push you get a lot more penetration which is true you do get a lot more penetration when you're pushing however in an application like this and sometimes you've just got to weld from left to right it can't be helped so what we're trying to do is keep the same distance loop each time so it looks nice and neat and tidy ensuring that we've touched the top edge to the bottom of the plate so with a lap joint what we're doing is we're using that top edge and we're just bringing our material up to that top edge and the same distance to the bottom so we're using the top edge as a line and what this does is it gives us somewhere to focus and stick to to ensure that our bead width is consistent throughout. So from this image this is the sort of pattern we're doing both pushing and pulling. Okay so we're now going to move on to the tricky part of the video. So now we're going to do a fillet weld but on a T fillet joint. Okay so we've got no guidelines at all now. So we've got to be really consistent in our mind where that bead width is going. And there is a few problems that can come when you're doing a T-fillet, especially cold roll. And that's essentially when you've not got enough voltage or enough wire going in to fill the joint. Switch in view and now we're going to push the torch. It seems to be flowing a tiny bit better when we push. And that will have something to do with the way it's fusing and penetrating into the material a tiny bit better. Which is where the argument comes with pulling and pushing with MIG. So as we can see from this final result, it's not quite penetrated in the way I would like. So we're going to take it from winter straight to summer. We're going to turn that voltage up and also our wire speed. So with our new voltage and new wire speed, we can instantaneously see how much better that puddle is flowing into both plates. So we can see that we're getting penetration and it's also fusing into both plates. So this is with pushing. Let's see the difference when we pull the torch. So after we've pulled this material, you're going to see the final result. In the meantime, if you enjoyed this video, we've got plenty more tips and tricks in this playlist you can see on the screen now. We will see you over there. Thank you for watching.